so looking at your journey you have done a lot of research and built various system based on fundamental technical and quantitative analysis so does this give you an edge or how do you collaborate all these studies and make a view before taking any trade so if you see it this way that you know all of the studies has something in common and if you realize that that is the perception of how you go and you know all of the research is actually common sense so even if you a lot of people might talk about that you know if you're doing fundamental analysis that generally doesn't go well with uh, technical analysis yes but uh, if you have the right perception of what is happening and if you move out from the management mm -hmm. transcript because most of the time the management is actually trying and manipulating correct the minds of the analyst by pumping in data correct right so if you can avoid that if you can create a complete model which is rational enough which is quantitative enough and if you do your own research it works so my first introduction was that you know i i was very attracted to uh, being from a commerce background i had a sense of you know how the balance sheet goes how the financials goes and i started exploring that you know can i go and look at uh, some of the financials and try and find you know what works and uh, luckily you know when i was taking large positions in some of the stocks i wanted to actually get inside and understand what is happening mm -hmm. so my learning was that you know you should not pay a lot of attention to where the management is trying to drag you if you can create a model right from the scratch and if you can do like a bottom up or a top down whatever works for you you can do that approach and if you go and create a model so most of the fundamental analysts wouldn't go and create a model they would just look at the data and they would try to you know predict right there but my way of using fundamental analysis was that i used to take one company create an excel model which is which will take you at least 2 months to create it and then after that finally you get a number and you'll have to be very very sensitive about what is happening because you know something like a weighted average cost of capital vac right. right if you change that number the entire model changes so what i, I observed is that most of the fundamental analysts in the industry are trying to play safe by matching the estimates with their model right so they are trying to do some kind of a trial and error by changing these numbers okay. and making sure okay if the market estimate is this okay. then i would want to go and match my model so that i'm playing safe but if you if you are doing a real anal analytic and if you are just going with what you have learned or what you know i think the number matches and the first uh, first match actually happened with walt disney where i created a model on walt disney okay uh, for the north american market and i had a technical target and both the targets the technical target and the fundamental target was matching and eventually okay. it happened and in india the first uh, model that i created was bharti airtel okay right where surprisingly i had a short call on bharti airtel i wanted to see what is going to happen in the fundamentals and i create a fundamental model and right there you know 330 is my target according to technicals and 320 is what comes out fundamentally in my model right so if you can do something in a very analytical way i think the thought and the perception that you have is more important than you know what study you are following so it works for me if i have to go and take a large bet i would look at the fundamentals i would go and look at the technicals and then i would be more confident on going ahead and placing a bet on that great